Well, hello, Mr. X. How are you today? I'm well, thanks. How long have you been dating in Ukraine? Like, how long have you been looking for a wife in Ukraine? Well, I first started about six years ago from my living room in the United States. And since then, through combination of my own efforts using um, different dating websites and also using these boutique agencies uh, throughout Ukraine, in fact, they call like the pay per date agencies. Um, I've been, yeah, I've been using them pretty much solid for six years now. Six years, wow, okay. How much, I know it's a, probably a guess, but how much do you think all in six years you're out of pocket dating in Ukraine, all in, total? Well, of course you've got uh, to consider all the travel expenses too, right? So the plane tickets back and forth, the meals, the apartments in Ukraine, um, and then of course you've got your expenses for the dating agencies. Altogether, I would put it probably between fifty and seventy thousand dollars. Oh, I wasn't even prepared for that one. Wow! Just to give our viewers um, an idea of the caliber of bachelor that you are, what would you like to share as to the caliber of man that you are, and how serious of a, of a man you are? Well, what can I say? I'm in my mid thirties. I have my own business. I am. Financially free, I can live wherever I want in the world. Um, I, you know, I'm in relatively good health and good shape. I uh, really don't have a major problem with finding girls who are interested in me, um, even without the help of agencies. However, I have uh, perhaps a, a particular type of girl that I'm looking for. And because of this, I try to use as many outlets for finding girls as possible. Whether that's different dating websites or different agencies, um, I'm quite, uh, I guess you could characterize my efforts as quite ambitious. Okay. So suffice it to say, you don't have a challenge meeting girls, um, of course, on Tinder, on the street, in cafes, street pickup, whatever. It's not an issue for you. Easy. Yeah. No. Yeah, even in the United States, I don't have a major issue. It's, again, it comes down to the type of girl I'm looking for, um, the compatibility, the chemistry, and uh, finding that ideal girl for me. Okay. So, I guess, how is your search going <laughs> after six years? How, are, how is your search currently? Any, you know, prospects? Well, of course, uh, always in Ukraine, when you're in Ukraine, uh, it's impossible to not have any prospects. I will say that first and foremost. Here, as Joe refers to on his YouTube channel, it is the land of milk and honey. I mean, literally, there are girls everywhere. You see girls every day. And it is very possible to get one new prospect per day. So if you're in Ukraine and here, it is almost impossible not to have any prospects. Now, if you're working with an agency on top of just being here, then you're you're going to have the opposite problem of prospects. You're going to have too many prospects, and that's another problem, another story. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, so, just to give viewers an idea, um, roughly, how many ladies do you think you've dated in, in Ukraine since you've been here? I've dated roughly 150 ladies. Okay. Okay. And what, you know, to be blunt, what do you think is the, the challenge of finding, you know, the right woman for you in Ukraine? Well, I think there are a lot of road bumps in, in the dating uh, world here. Um, of course, the first challenge that perhaps most foreigners experience when they come to Ukraine, including myself, is... When you go on a date and you, you sit down with the girl in that first 30 seconds of looking at her face, it is sometimes, well, I should say, it, it is oftentimes, uh, it almost looks like a different girl than in the photos. That means that oftentimes these agencies, these websites, are utilizing the most photoshopped, most perfected versions of these girls. So much so that if you were to do a video call with her, or if you were to meet her in person, 
you almost would not recognize her. It is oftentimes such a big difference from photos to reality. And I would say that, that uh, in terms of meeting girls online or meeting girls through agencies, I would say that that is one of the biggest challenges. It has been one of the biggest challenges for me, for sure. The second uh, challenge that I've experienced, of course, is finding reputable agencies to work with. Um, here in Ukraine, of course, it's there's a survival mentality here to all the people, not just the girls, but also the agency owners. And sometimes when Americans come here, they see these big sharks, these big names, Anastasia Date, for example, and a few others. And they think of these agencies as very successful and they probably don't need the money. Well, the matter of fact is there are a lot of these small agencies all throughout Ukraine that are run by really uh, these one-man shows, sometimes single mothers or, or they do, the, do this job part-time. And for them, $50, $100, really every dollar matters to them. So they will try and squeeze you for every dollar they can. What does that mean? That means that if the girl speaks a little bit of English, then they will try to sell you on getting a translator to come on that date to attend that girl, even though her English level might be sufficient enough to have a conversation. They will send out translator anyways, and then charge you for that translator by the hour. And so oftentimes you will think you're going into uh, this agency and you're going to pay a certain amount to meet this girl, and you end up leaving and your bill is three or four or five times higher than you had anticipated. So this is uh, something that I have learned, something that I have experienced, um, something that I have had several um, disappointing experiences with, and what I would caution any men uh, who is looking to come to Ukraine. So from the 150 or so ladies that you've dated in Ukraine, Matt, um, how many of those would be agency dates or website dates? Well, actually, let's split it by website, you know, big sites, um, little boutique agency dates, and then just Tinder, social media, street pickup dates. What do you think, ballpark? Well, I would say that at least one third of my dates with girls have been through agencies. I would say that the remaining is probably split between, well, applications, Tinder, Bumble, etc., meeting girls on the street or in clubs or bars or through friends. And then lastly, through the dating websites that aren't, you would call them an agency. Um, they're more like a match.com, but for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if I were to characterize my success on each one of those levels, I would say that in many people actually would uh, be surprised to hear and to know that on the applications like Tinder and Bumble, uh, it's just as likely to come across a scammer as through an agency or through one of these pay per letter sites. Um, there's many females out there, in fact, uh, a, a mentor of mine here calls them sharks, sharks in, in Kiev. And there's many of these sharks that are utilizing Tinder in these applications simply to have a nice experience in Kiev, to go to a nice restaurant, to maybe to, to, to go to a mall and then the guy ends up buying them something. Or they, you know, for example, my personal experience was I met a girl, went to a coffee shop, and I thought, coffee shop is a great idea for a date. It's not very expensive, it's quick. If I don't like her, I can leave. And she had a different plan. She took me to the coffee shop right next to this gift shop. And midway for our coffee, she invited me to the gift shop and started picking out gifts for all of her family. And she was giving one gift and another gift to the lady at the cashier. And then the lady at the cashier then shows me the price on the calculator for these gifts. It ended up being something like $70 or $80 for a girl who I just met 20 minutes ago. And I looked at the lady, and I looked at my girl, and I realized that instantly at that moment that they were working together. There was something going on between them. And instantly, because of 
also my experience in Ukraine, I knew that I had to leave the shop at this moment. And that was a girl through Tinder. So I can, I can say that there's no clear way to evolve, uh, avoid scams uh, in any particular app, in any particular website. Um, they are literally all over the place. Wow. Interesting, interesting story. So that was in particular Tinder Girl. What percentage of these social media girls are on free sites, social media and apps do you think are prostitutes looking for Johns? <sighs> the definition of a prostitute is difficult in Ukraine. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.